This video covers how to set up groups in mail and contacts and to send bulk email to those groups using the mail app and the free app MailShot on an iPad. If you want to send mail to a group then you need to set that group up in iCloud on a computer uh, if you're using the inbuilt app Mail. Um, there is no way in the Mail app that you can create a group. I've logged into my iCloud account on the web and open the contacts and on the left hand side is groups. Now on the right hand side are all my contacts and they also live on the contacts app and are being synced to iCloud. So any change I make on iCloud will be reflected in my contacts app. To add a group, click the plus sign, give the group a title, so let's call it my test group. and then add some contacts to that group. So I go into all my contacts and then add a couple of contacts to it. So let's just take the first couple here and drag them into the test group. And they can be anywhere, so I'll take a couple more from, from down here. Drag them into the group. Then you can see in there, there's your, your group. So they're still in the contacts and then go back to the cloud. Now within seconds it will be synced down to my contacts on the iPad. We're going to groups and you can see here my test group is already there as well as a group for family members and then all iCloud. Now I choose on the iPad in the settings under iCloud. My contacts are synced to iCloud. So as soon as I make a change on the iPad to the contacts that is synchronized back up to iCloud and push down to any other iOS device I have, iPhone, iPod Touch or to one of the Mac computers. Similarly if I make a change on the uh, iCloud site on the internet that's pushed out to all the other devices. So it keeps everything together. So I have my group set up and now I want to send a bulk email to all the members of the group or I could just pick out some members of the group. So in mail, compose a new message and if I'm sending it to more than one member of the group then I'm going to use the BCC, blind carbon copy, to protect the privacy of the members of the group. They don't need to see who else is being sent this, this email. Uh, and tap the plus and there is a groups up the top there and I can select the group I want to get this from my test group done these are the members of the group and I'm just going to send it to myself rather than all these other people as a test so I can send it to myself and because I've got several email addresses I could send it to myself a couple of times. And the subject is just a test email. And send. Email sent. Go back into my all my inboxes. There's the three. Test email going to three different email addresses of mine and that would be the same as if I sent that to every member of that group. If I wanted to send an attachment to an email to all members of the group then you do that from whatever app you want to send the attachment from. So now I'm in the photos app and I want to send this photo to uh, all the members of the group. So in, I've selected the photo, I've selected the sharing button and now I'm going to select mail it puts the photo in the in the email and I can put a subject in it's the dog and who am I sending it to again blind carbon copy tap the plus I'm in the groups just check that I'm in that group to go back only wants my test group 
and I'll send it again just to myself several times, so it's simulating several members of the group. So I've selected the, the members of the group I want to send it to, and then tap send, go into their email, all inboxes, and three of them have gone out. So it does work. Sending a, an attachment, for example, if I was in Adobe Reader, and I have a document that I want to send to all members of the group. And I can select the document. And again, the sharing button. Email the document. Line carbon copy. Select the group. If I want to send this to every member of the group, I need to select each one one by one, which really isn't that useful. So what we're going to look at is another app, a free app, and there's a paid version of that app that does a much better job of creating a group, a mailing list, and uh, allowing you to send it to all of the group or just individual members of the group. It does attachments. You can share the group. It's a, a, a little bit easier. So it's called MailShot. So in MailShot, and in MailShot you can actually create the groups within the app. You don't have to go into iCloud to do so. I'm in the home screen now. I'm going to create a group. Um, make up a name. I'm done. And the, before you start, it's going to request permission to your contacts and you need to agree to that, otherwise the app won't work. So I've already done that. So how do you create a group in MailShot? Tap the Start button and tap the cross and create a new group and I'll call this one another group. And then add contacts to your list. And it's going to access your contacts app, that's why you had to grant access to it before. And I'll just use mine because I have a few mail addresses and add all of those in. So there's separate contacts. Done. And then when you're finished, update. Now what it does is write a special contact to your address book. So when you're sending an email to the group, you just select that contact from the contacts app. So let's just check out how that works. So going to Mail, Compose a New Message, I'm going to get into the Blind Carbon Copy to protect the privacy of all the individual group members. They won't see who's been sent the same email. And tap the plus. And we're looking for all contacts. And I'm looking for the group, another group. And that's going to send it to everybody on that list. And I can put in the subject and then send. So if I check in my inboxes, all inboxes, all those emails are starting to be sent and I can see them all there because they're my email addresses in this group. I can see each one as it goes through. It sends them all out quite quickly. All date stamped at the same time. If I was to go into the individual accounts, there's one of them there. That's Life Account, the ICT Learning Account, there's another one. So they all work. Now what if you wanted to send a email to some members of your group? So back in Mail, and I'm sending it from the Gmail account as my default mail account. So compose a new message into the blind carbon copy and add the group. If I tap the uh, another group, all it gives me is the first person's name in that group. I really can't see anybody else in that group to individually select who I want to send it to in the group. It assumes I want to send it to everybody. So if I wanted to send an email to some members of the group, I could pose a new email into the BCC box, select the group, and this time I'll select a different group, which is again been saved as a contact my friends and I can put the subject in before I can send it to individual ones I need to save it as a draft so tap in cancel save it as a draft hold the compose button down 
open the draft and then it gives me the the group name and the individual members inside that group so if I tap on the BCC line I can delete uh, however many people I want to out of that group so tapping it and hitting the cross will delete that person and then I can tap send the free version allows five contacts and three groups so if you're really serious about using this for group email you will have to buy it uh, to delete a group tap the edit the red circle and the delete button you can also duplicate groups so if there were some similar members or uh, you wanted to save yourself a bit of time just drag one whichever group you wanted to, to duplicate over that line it's duplicated and then you can tap edit to rename it so instead of calling it that you can rename that group it's called another and then update to rewrite it back to the contacts to add more members to the group tap the group you want to add the member to and once you're inside that you can add a contact to your list manually by tapping the plus and then uh, going back to all your contacts and picking somebody else to add in there and then tap update to write it back to the contacts to delete somebody out of the group open the group tap the edit and delete somebody out of the group done update it back now there is a very good help page which gives you a lot of information about how else to use MailShot I've only given you a brief introduction to how to use it and that's available at this URL